Atomic Habits, I'd argue, is one of the most popular books for leaders, entrepreneurs, but also caters to those looking to make massive change in their life. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Aaron from 8 to Free. Generally, when we talk about behavior changes that needed to be made or habits that need to be formulated, we generally think of it as a big picture thing. But author James Clear gives the idea that tiny, consistent changes can actually lead to more impactful results long term. The results of your life are based on your input. To wrap your head around that, if you want to be fit, your input is what you're putting into your body and how much you are working out. If you're not putting healthy foods into your body and if you're not working out, then you're probably not going to get the desired outcome. If your goal is to, let's say, retire early, your desired outcome is directly based on your input. So how much you're saving, where you're spending your money, are you tracking your money? For me, one of my goals is to run a successful YouTube channel. So that's what I'm going to talk about, the example of just small changes changes that you can make each and every day if you were to want to say become a full-time YouTuber or maybe you just want it for some side income. My whole premise of this video is going to be talk about tiny shifts and tiny changes that I'm going to make so that I am able to become a better YouTuber. So to become a successful YouTuber you've got to be good at scripting, you've got to be good at coming up with creative ideas, you've got to be able to sit and do research as to what other YouTubers are doing, you've got to work on editing, you've also got to work on filming, so that's B-roll, that's shots like this as well. It is literally could take up a full-time job and then some. I'd be willing to bet that a lot of YouTubers actually work way more than 40 hours a week. So I'm gonna break down some simple steps that I'm going to take in order to become a better YouTuber and maybe you can implement this as well. Before we get into it, let's first talk about what an atomic habit is. An atomic habit is a regular practice or routine that is not only small and easy to do, but is also the source of incredible power a component of the system of compound growth. Broken down, that basically means 1% better each and every day is going to have significantly better results because what you're doing is you're compounding that each and every day. The same way I like to think about it is if compound interest in your money or retirement, if you can just make little deposits each and every day into whatever it is, whether it is a retirement account or whether it is just bettering yourself each and every day, think of that as a deposit. Think of how much better off you will be in 20, 30, 40, 50 years. I mean, even next week, you'd be surprised if you can just commit to making a tiny shift in your daily schedule just to create better habits and to get rid of those negative habits. You will be exponentially better than if you wait to do it or if you don't do it at all. So for example, for me, an atomic habit could be very simple as each morning while my coffee is brewing, I'm going to write down three video ideas that I might have for my YouTube channel. Or you could say, I'm going to spend five minutes scripting and I idea that I thought of yesterday. Now those may not seem like enough or not significant enough, but just think about what a small habit like that can do compounded over a week is all of a sudden, instead of having to scramble for an idea for a video, if I go film on a Sunday and I've been diligent with making three video ideas each day, well, three times seven, all of a sudden I have 21 video ideas that maybe one of them might click with me and I wanna go ahead and record that video or start scripting it. Atomic Habits break down how to build better habits into four simple steps. I'm going to break them down in the context of becoming a YouTuber. But those four steps are, how can I make it obvious? How can I make it attractive? How can I make it easy? And how can I make it satisfying? So for number one, how can I make it obvious? How can I make becoming a full-time creator obvious? Well, one of the things is awareness is vitally important to developing good habits. In the context of a creator, one of my goals is to make sure that my creative journal where I write down all my ideas, where I script all my videos is forefront. So every night, when I close my computer, right when I open it back up in the morning, I see my journal right there. And if I don't have my journal open, another thing that I'll do is I'll have my YouTube analytics open as well in two pages. I always have these pages open on Chrome. So when I wake up each morning, I have to visually see either my YouTube analytics or I have to see my vision board. So if I see that the forefront of my mind right when I wake up, it's a lot easier for me to just be able to dive into that versus Netflix or opening up YouTube to watch other videos. Number two, 
how can you make it more attractive? So he talks about this in his book, but he talks about building good habits also has to have some sort of feedback with it. So there's a feedback loop of you do something that maybe you don't normally do, you're trying to break a habit, and then you immediately, after you complete that task, you go into something rewarding. So one of the things that I can do to make it attractive is as soon as I get those three ideas down, or maybe after I do the five to 10 minutes of scripting, I immediately reward myself with going to YouTube and watching other videos or maybe I go into Netflix and I watch The Office for the thousandth time because it just keeps getting better and better and better. That's what she said. <laughs> So once we get to the end, you'll see the loop that this takes is it really does come full circle that if you do this consistently over time, it really is like a feedback loop of being able to reward yourself, but yet you feel really accomplished and motivated that you're getting stuff done at the same time. Now, I'm well aware that five to 10 minutes of writing down ideas isn't going to make me a YouTuber tomorrow, but that's not the goal is tomorrow. It's to work on it each and every day to be consistent throughout the process so that it is accumulating that compound growth that everybody is looking for. So number three, how can you make it easy? I feel like a lot of people get stuck in not being able to act. You have these ideas, you have these goals that you have for yourself, and I feel the same way, is that you forget to act, or maybe you get boggled down and feel like you don't know what to do with all of this information or all of these ideas, but the important thing is to make whatever you're trying to do, make it easy. So make it organized, maybe you have notes on your phone, or you use an app so when you're going through you know the Starbucks line you can type out three ideas like to me that's very very easy it's right in front of you it's accessible whereas if maybe you had a notepad at home and you have an idea and you don't have it in your phone or you don't keep it organized in your phone then you obviously you have to remember it then maybe you get stressed out with oh I forgot my idea so make the habit really really easy number four it kind of ties back to number two is how you can make it attractive but this one is how you can make it satisfied. The cardinal rule of behavior change is what is immediately rewarded is repeated. What is immediately punished is avoided. So if you're getting the positive feedback right after you complete this task, maybe you have an accountability partner that you text right after and they're like, way to go. That is going to be much more motivating for you than if you just do it and then you sit there. You don't do something that's rewarding after the fact. So for me, distractions are literally everywhere. It's on your phone, it's on your computer, it's your dog, it's your significant other, it's whatever the case may be distractions are everywhere and it's important to be aware of those but it's important to be aware of how to avoid those distractions they're everywhere but if I can commit to doing five to ten minutes and then I'm able to go do those things that I love doing that might be a little more satisfying and less taxing on the mind if I can consistently do these habits and I consistently spend that five to ten minutes and grow you can change your YouTube channel you can change your life you can grow into that person you want to be I swear I've heard it so many times that you can can do it. You literally can do it. It take one small step each and every day to become a better YouTuber because you can do it. If you guys enjoyed today's content, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment down below some habits that you might be working on. I would love to encourage you if I can. So if you can, like this video, go follow me on TikTok. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. We'll see you next time. Peace. That's what she said. <laughs>